Hello, we are going to end the cliffhanger. I'll show you some of the stuff I cut out. You remember the car? Here's this gal. The body. Maybe another body. The fish. And we have a bunch of other things that we're going to... Oh, here, this is from um, one that I made before that's a beautiful bird lady. I kind of mixed up stuff I found in my craft room and heads and bodies. So this is going to be a mix of what we cut out last week. I'm not ready to make borders right this second. But here's some stuff. And we're going to make a few paper dolls and some backgrounds so that I can doodle this weekend. Eventually I will doodle with you. Mostly I doodle all by myself. <laughs> okay, here is some more heads. This lady's head is so cute. She's got such a cute scrunchy face. All right, do we have any bodies? We got all kinds of fun bodies here. You might not think there's fun bodies, but I think there's fun bodies here. We got an arm. We could probably use another arm. Some circles. Let's pull out the circles. So, if we did this, okay, I kind of love this and these and her. I would like more of a something for her body. We could just do a, what about if we do this? Or something like that. Oh, there we go. That's what we need. And then maybe we put a fish on top of it. And then I need a shorter body. Do we put her right on this? I feel like her hat is too big and beautiful to offset the fact she doesn't have a body. So let's find this gal a body. Or do we want to put her... Oh, this is it. This is it. Here's what we do. We put her with her big old hat and her fish on this. I like that better. Anyways. Okay. And then... That looks like a real thing, huh? Do we have a hat? We could put that bow on her. I like that. I feel like the Eiffel Tower needs to go with our things over there. This is more modern. Oh, she's kind of cute. Look at how adorable she is. Okay, let's put her together. I don't try to save things or wait for later. I do want her hat behind her ear over here, her bow. And let's kind of kick it up. That's cute. Now you can't really tell her one ear isn't right. In fact, I could probably take that off. Do I want her to have a neck or do I want it to just go right on her head? Oh, I think I want it to go right on. And if you're worried that that things are looking weird, I'm putting a jaguar head on a sculpture, a divan or a footstool, and then somebody else's legs. So already this is going to be somewhat problematic reality-wise, right? Right. And then let's put on her little leggies. And then I feel like we do need to find her some arms. I don't know if I'm going to use that one arm. But I brought in some more magazines I found. And some cutouts I already had. So there's another head. 
That might have been for a body. There's a head. Got a lot of heads. Ooh, look at this. That is for a hat or a body. Ooh, that could be fun. This is definitely a neck for a head. So if we have another big head, we'll put it up here. Or we could put a little head. Actually, I'd want a big head. But you could tuck a little head into there and have it be like framing her. This could be a little body. These are good. I love those for borders. I love that for borders. I always use these for hats. Those are very cute hats. Not sure why I took this one out. Uh, maybe for her eyes, but I don't know. And then some olives. So uh, this won't be for today's video, but those are some of our upcoming cliffhangers. But this is what I thought we could use. Oh, there's a jaguar again. Oh, these guys all have jaguars in them. This is the winter version of the last magazine, the Outre. Outre? Outre. I don't know what that means. But right this second, I'm just looking for a couple arms. Look at that. Oh my gosh, a ring on that. Oh, those are great. I love them. So I just need two arms and maybe a background. Oh, look at that. I kind of want a little bit longer arm than that was. Well, this one has a lot of animals in it. Two giraffes. Sometimes you can get like people who are holding hands and they have arms that hook together. And it looks like it's supposed to be that way, but it's, it, it just changes your perception and it makes it look a little bit weird. Okay, we need to try to find some kind of armage to use. Oh, there's two arms. She's missing some fingers. Let's keep a pin in that. Those are big arms. We don't. Oh, look at those fabulous arms. Those are fabulous arms. Thank you, arm lady. Okay, so we are gonna cut out her arms. We're gonna also have her head to use later and then her, maybe we'll use her head and her body. Do I want just, oh, let's go ahead and take her whole arms and then see what we wanna do with them. one arm. Oh, fabulous. He's going to be able to, to touch her face. Yay. And now let's get this on. We'll come down here as far as we can. Okay, and then we're going to have her head and her body. I'm going to stop right here. Let me Wish I had my good scissors. Hold on. I knew I had a pair of Tim Holtz snips in here. That makes it so much easier. Okay, so for this, we're going to round off her head. We are going to cut around this little sweater. And then through the magic of television, she's here. All right. Okay, so look, we have legs for her if we wanted them. And part of what makes things look cool and fun is if they're out of proportion. So if the head is bigger than the legs, if the legs are bigger than the arms, if all kinds of things happen. I don't know that I'm sold on that one. I'm going to go ahead and cut these arms out and put them on this jaguar lady. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna get this head from this other side and put it in my head stash. And I'm gonna show you this. So I'm gonna put her little arm here, right? That's right where I want it so that she looks like she's touching her cheek. So let's get this bottom part right. Oh, a lot of glue. Too much glue me. Let's not glue it. Oh, we already glued it to the bottom. Let's try not to do that. It's one nice thing about working on glass. It's much less likely to, to hold that. And then I'm gonna put this right where I want it and glue it up here. Is that kind of flat? Let's see, can we get it to where it's flat? That's pretty flat. Okay, so now she's doing that. And then I had this arm and I was like, huh, I could make it really short. I could make it go down, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an elbow. So we're gonna cut this off and this is gonna sit over here and we're gonna kind of think about something we could put in there. But then we're gonna go and glue this on here. Like thus, and now we have an elbow. We can like do a tiny bit to curve it off like that. But now we can put this arm right there. And she Oh my goodness, I love her. And I feel like she's kind of ready to go. Do we want to make her, I think I want to make her the jungle one with the castles and this. So we'll put this over here. A bink, a bink. We're gonna lose her legs, that's fine. We're gonna lose part of her elbow. Okay, so now I feel like we need to find a planar page, like more of a, Ooh, what about there? What about if she is at the thing and we have little castles coming up and maybe, is that enough? I kind of almost want her to be two. Let's do a two page spread because she's worth it. And then I could almost do her kind of here. Oh, I think this is gonna work out fine. So let's figure this out. She's gonna be on here. Um, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. We have greenery. Ooh, what if we do, first off, do we wanna put the Eiffel Tower on her hand? Nope. So if we now take the Eiffel Tower and say that it's gonna be part of a background, and we have little, where's the other one? There was another little castle. I'll be right back. I have to find my other little castle. There it is. Okay. So if we do our Eiffel Tower and our little castle, and we have this to kind of come up here. Oh, I love that. That is everything. Maybe she doesn't have the Eiffel Tower here. Maybe she's holding the castle. I kind of like that. Okay, we are gonna do that. And if you are the kind of person that does not want to make snap decisions, 
and thinks you're gonna do something wrong and you wanna lay it out and think about it till tomorrow, do that. It just doesn't bother me. They're silly magazine collage images and I've been doing this long enough that if I do quote mess something up, I know how to fix it. So it just doesn't, doesn't scare me at all at this point. I'm gonna do it right there so you can still see. Do I wanna go over a little bit so we have lots of castle peaks? I do. Uh, and I was gonna tell you this, if you don't like it all higgledy-piggledy how I'm doing um, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, I have lots of videos over there that I have done start to finish, mostly during the pandemic, but that you could follow along and not have so much coming and going and things like that. Okay, so let's see how she's going to sit. We're going to move her over because we want her castle to be here. Nope, right there. Okay, I want her right there with her elbow right there. She can come down so we get more of her hat or up. Yeah, I want just her fingers to be over there and then we'll put the castle on it. It'll help her hold everything down. Okay, she's down. I'm going to probably need to do a little touch-up gluing. Sorry if you can hear the dog. All right, so she is at her castle villa. Oh, I gotta stick her other castle on. She is holding the castle in her hand and it is nice and stuck down. So, one down. All right, we're gonna let her dry. You can never doodle when you've just glued. It'll ruin your pages. Okay, let's see what we have and if this is gonna be one or two pages. So I kind of love her. She goes with the flowers if she just wants to hang out over here and be fabulous. She was a found one. I'd made her a long time ago, so maybe she isn't the primary one. Scoot this over so you can see it. Fish. All right, so I need a long space for this one. So that one can't go here. We have to have... So you wouldn't have this coming in and then something else here. We're going to have to work that way. So that's fine. That's fine. Let's work with this lady who will jump off the page and do we have a hat for her yep we have a hat for her and we were going to put this on top of it and that's super cute i love her arms oh what's back here hold on oh that's another hat so i like a little bit of a tippy hat Oh, that hat's great. Okay, so that I can put together. So functionally, I took part of an ice bucket, we got most of it, and put it together with a lampshade and made her a tippy hat. I love her. Okay, I don't think she needs legs. I'll just draw in a couple legs down there if that's what we decide to go with. Let's go over a little bit. All right, let's stick her. I'm going to, do we want... See, I think it's too tippy-tippy if we do a tippy hat and a tippy head. I think we do a straight head and a tippy hat. And then I want to find some new eyes for her. Now that she's been over there for a little while, I totes want to have her hanging out on the side. She definitely has a vibe, doesn't she? She's like cool and a hip bird, which goes with the flowers. All right, now I need some eyes. Were any of the people a little bit bigger? Because I do like a bigger eye. Oh, here's a big girl. Well, I guess they'll do. So you can do eyes a whole bunch of different ways. You can, I'll show you a few. So you could 
do them like this. And the one thing I will tell you is if you line them up with the nose and you're doing this kind of eye, it will always look way more lined up than if you do it than if you don't line up with the eyes or with the nose, excuse me. And and even on where's that one guy? Even on this one gal, even though the glasses didn't line up right, we would still line it up with her nose, not with the glasses themselves. Does that make sense? I think it does. Okay. So we and then I like to make their eyes look really sad. I like to turn them backwards and make them look really sad. So what I'm gonna do is come in here and cut a space along her hairline. So now you can see that if you wanted to, you could just slide eyes right in here and get it lined up with her nose. Maybe I would cut a little bit more off the top but what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip her eyes because I'm going to make them a lot bigger, draw them a lot bigger. I'm going to cut off more of this top and more of these sides and then kind of give her a nose job and cut her nose off because I don't need all that nose in between. All right, now her eyes were like this. I'm going to flip them around and turn them down so they look sad. Put that one on there right like that. I moved her eye way out of position. Accidentally, there we go. And then let's get her other eye here. And you can, you know, I've done all kinds of things. You could replace two little eyes with one big eye. You could replace just one eye and leave the other eye there. I just tend to like to make their eyes look sad. Where's my hat? There's my hat. There we go. That's cute. Okay, I love that. Okay, she is adorable. I am going to... I kind of want her to have a little bit of legs. That's what we've got for now. And what I'm gonna do with her is I'm going to um, leave her floating because I need to find something else to go with her before we decide to glue her down. Okay, all right, so that is two of the paper dolls made for today. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.